everybody. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use an Olaplex treatment in your hair. Basically, it strengthens and repairs your hair, okay? Um, first thing you need to do is make sure you have no knots. So use a good brush. This is my uh, Balmain brush. It's uh, pure ball hair, so it doesn't break your hair. It just moves all the natural oils to the ends of your hair. from the areas where it's mostly damaged like my areas are here at the bottom which is very I'm not gonna brush it into my hair I feel that this side It in. It starts feeling smooth and soft from the second you put it in your hair. So as you can see, I've brushed my hair out with my Desata brush and I've flatted it and left the treatment, the number three, in my hair. You can leave it on a um, minimum of 20 minutes, but the longer you leave it in, the better, okay? So uh, I would suggest um, you, you either put it up in a bun or you plait it, you know, it's it's not so wet. That's why I don't wash it in the shower before. I just wet it with my hands, you know, from the basin so it's not soaking wet. And I don't touch my head so my head doesn't get cold. I just wet the actual hair that needs to be treated. Um, uh, after that, I'm going to uh, wash my hair with uh, Olaplex shampoo, which is for all hair types, which is amazing. Um, uh, it will treat your hair as well and uh, the conditioner is also amazing um, for all hair types um, to finish off the, the treatment okay so basically I will show you my hair after it's blow dried now So basically I've dried my hair naturally. As you saw, I used the Olaplex number no. six as a protection for my hair. Um, um, I'm going to go over my hair with the straighteners so you know how you must, how you should use the straighteners, okay? So first you need two clips, a comb and your straightener. Make sure that your hair is 100% dry. And if you dry it off with the hair dryer and stretch it a bit, it's better. Basically what happens if your hair is damp and you go over it with the straighteners, you end up um, creating like bubbles in the hair where they become brittle and they will start, the hair will start to break basically. Um, uh, always consider your hair um, as like a material, okay? And like you're going to iron it with an iron, okay? So basically, if your hair is very fine and fragile, I would treat it like silk, okay? So use the lowest temperature. If your hair is thick, it can take a very high temperature, okay? 
So, but not, not higher than 180 to 200 max. I think 180 is, is better actually. So for me, I go for like 100, 120 max. Okay, so now I'm going to section my hair in half. Never do this without using uh, protection for your hair before you dry it. All right, take a section. My hair is already a bit quite straight because I have just done the keratin before all this happened. Mm. I'll take another section on the other side and clip it up. People with thick hair might need more clips. <laughs> okay, comb it so you don't stop. It's very important to start at the very root, okay? And slide down. I mean, in the salon we use a finer comb, okay? And we go like this usually. But I don't know how easy that would be for you. Okay? Go over it till, it till you see that it's nice and smooth. In my case, I don't need to go over it many times. And the less, the better for my hair. Because as I told you, it's very fragile. The roots can take more than the ends. The ends are very fine. So if your roots are very stubborn, you can go close and go more than once. One, two, three, and then go down. Okay. And you keep on going like that. Next section. kids in the background and my husband they're playing uno downstairs today we had a really really good day actually i'm really learning how to enjoy this time actually um uh, i'm taking things easy I'm, I'm finding it like it's a blessing you know it's like my life was so crazy before it was like work and then kids school emails all this you know non-stop business and now it's like okay fine i can do five minutes housework and then relax and then i can do five minutes with the kids and then relax and then i can do another five minutes housework you know it's and i can talk to them spend quality quality time with them i mean before i used to make time but it used to be like forced now it comes a bit more naturally you know at the beginning of all this, I was saying to myself, well, do I really want to go back to the life I was living before? And I was sort of scared of it, but now I'm looking at it differently. I'm saying, okay, like I used to work really, really hard, but I used to live a very good life, you know? Because obviously when you work hard, you earn money and you enjoy them. Uh, so basically, um, I can't complain, you know. So yes, if God gives me the chance to live my life as it was, I'll probably slow it down a little bit. I won't do as much as I used to, yes, I must admit. But I still work hard. I think work is very good for all of us. But um, uh, I, always, I was always a great believer in working to live and not living to work. <laughs> so uh, I'll always keep that in mind, you know. Um, today I was I slept and I slept outside actually on the on the grass, and um, and then when I woke up I was saying, oh, I have to do the dishes, I have to do the laundry. What shall I do next? And like my brain couldn't stop i was trying to relax and at the same time I, I couldn't stop thinking you know of what i have to do and i i was like trying to force myself then i closed my eyes and i tried to think of the most amazing time i had you know before all this happened and i tried to visualize step by step like on like the certain days 
like when we went on holiday last with the family, like when the taxi picked us up, we went to the airport, what, I, what films I watched on the plane. And I'm like, I couldn't even remember the names of the movies. And, I, and then I kept on trying to visualize, you know, the food and remember what ingredients there was. In, the food was so good, like so fresh and um, the islands we visited. And anyway, I uh, I really relaxed just thinking of that moment, you know. And I got off the sofa and I was thinking to myself, oh my God, I have a lot of energy. Let me go and do my hair. Let me, <laughs> let me go and uh, wash the treatment out and uh, enjoy the rest of the day. And before I did that, I ended up cleaning all the kitchen. I hung a load, I um, cleared up the bathroom, I did so many things, I got so much energy, so I'm going to try and do this visualization thing, it's really helped me today, so let me get back to my hair, because I can go on talking forever. <laughs> So, as you can see, it's ready, it's really soft, it feels like silk actually, with the Olaplex. What the Olaplex does is, is it strengthens the hair internally and uh, hydrates it too. It's for all hair types, but I find it works best on medium to fine hair and highlighted hair. It's like a miracle. <laughs> There was a time I couldn't even um, I couldn't even highlight my hair or blow dry it for a long time. I couldn't do anything to it because um, um, my hair would just break. I always had to cut it, always growing and cutting, growing and cutting. And now I managed. God bless. I mean, I keep it really strong. I do this treatment once a week without fail, and then once uh, once every three weeks I do the salon treatment, which is stronger. Basically. It's step one and step two in, in the salon. And whenever I have my color done, I always add some of the Olaplex in the mixture. Um, and in fact, look, it's very, very healthy, you know? Very soft, very shiny. I love it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. And uh, I'd also like some feedback on what else you would like me to, to show you, any other tutorials you come up with. Um, uh, my next one's going to be, it's going to be funny, <clears throat> a lot of my clients anyway have been asking me, and my, my son's hair is getting too long, or my boyfriend, or my husband's, or my father's hair, you know, they're all concerned about the guys. I mean, I'm not going to teach you how to actually do a full haircut, forget it, because that you need to learn. I mean, it took me years of experience to learn how to do a full haircut, but at the least thing I could do is teach you maybe how to clean it up a bit. So at least they look human, you know, um, um, so that's going to be funny. OK, so um, uh, keep tuned. OK, and uh, hope to see you soon. <laughs> Ciao.